Next up in Better Health, we have a look at the Children's Ward development at Dunedin Hospital. This is the single largest development to occur in the last 15 years at Dunedin Hospital. I'm David Barker, I'm a paediatrician. Uh, I've been working in Dunedin for the Southern District Health Board now for a number of years, and I'm the clinical leader for Children's Health. Hi, I'm Linda Moy, I'm the Service Manager for Children's Health for Otago and the Acting Service Manager for Public Health Nurse and Envision Hearing Screening across Otago. We're on the Children's Ward, uh, it's a busy ward, uh, at the moment we're pretty full. Uh, we've got a mixture of medical and surgical patients on the ward, um, really the whole spectrum of um, children's health issues uh, requiring hospital care. Children are paramount and the needs of the children are critical to our society and our whole um, community. So we need a, friend, a child friendly environment with a family centred focus for children and, our, and the staff. In terms of the facilities, uh, there'll be much better facilities for, for families to, to stay together and for parents to stay with their children. Um, there'll be better isolation facilities for those children who do need to be uh, isolated because of their medical condition. Uh, and the environment itself will be much more child friendly. The new ward um, includes the neonatal intensive care unit, so what we've done is join the tertiary NICU and our children's ward, which is a secondary care unit, together onto the first floor of the children's of the ward block. The other features we've got for children is an indoor play area, <coughs> which is part of our Ministry of Education criteria for children, and we've got an outdoor play area that looks over the one-way street, which will be a lot of fun for the kids, it's lots of glass. Uh, for families we've got a parent room in the children's ward, a parent room in NICU and a whanau hour room for the aunties, uncles, grandparents to um, sit in and wait and have a cup of tea. The physical environment has been designed with input from all of the clinical staff or those that wanted to put input and from families, children and adolescents we've used surveys, we've used feedback, we've used challenging questions to design the physical space and to get the best environment, best physical environment we can in the space that we were allocated. So the new facility uh, will be in the main hospital on the first floor, uh, currently under construction and we're going to have the uh, uh, children's ward, uh, a new children's assessment unit as part of that um, environment and then the neonatal unit will be just alongside those two facilities, so we'll all be on the same floor next to each other, which will um, create a very good uh, sort of focused environment for children within the main hospital in Dunedin. At the moment, NICU is compliant for five to six babies or thereabouts, and we fit upwards of 21 into that space. And in the new build, we're totally compliant as, as far as space, plus a bit of extra. It's absolutely fantastic. It's very exciting to see the plans jump off the page and um, huge credit to our building and property team. Just absolutely wonderful, great contractors in there, very committed and a lot of the people working on the site have got a connection with children and um, a, yeah, just really, really good people doing a great job. Yeah. We're in the process of um, uh, going out to the community to uh, ask for support uh, for certain uh, features within the, uh, the new design, the new build. St Margaret's College and um, the Otago Nuggets have put on a fundraising breakfast for the children's ward. It's come at an absolutely um, excellent time um, because we're moving to a new facility just at the end of the year. And of course, you know, we've got our new facility, but we've still got a huge wish list of items that we kind of need to purchase to make the inpatient experience so much better for families. Between the children's ward and the neonatal unit, we're just so excited to get into one floor, which will be a paediatric and, and neonatal service um, together uh, with these new facilities. Making the experience so much more comfortable for the kids and just providing those added extras that just make it an easier time when you're away from home. We're very grateful for any uh, assistance received. Uh, we've got a particular groups such as the Lions, Friends of Children in Hospital, 
impact our Countdown Kids. Um, we've worked in partnership with Progressive Enterprise Countdown Kids for the last seven years who have donated over six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars. Well I think they're terrific. They are enthusiastic. They like their job and they enjoy it but they keep on doing it and they have done it for seven years now, uh, increasing amounts every year and I think the thing that makes a difference is that they know they're making a difference to the lives of children and families that are perhaps under stress in hospital and need that extra little bit of extra comfort. All those contribute towards the, uh, the new facility uh, in an important way, so I'm very grateful. It's, uh, it's a really good thing for the staff to be able to look forward to uh, moving into a new facility and uh, to be able to provide better care for the children and families in, in the new environment, so we're all very excited about that prospect. What we want for our, our children, our families and our staff is a really great environment, so that it's a great experience, great memories. So exciting things happening there and fantastic support that is greatly appreciated.